Neighbors in central Charlotte are pushing to preserve history. They're gathering support to designate the Elizabeth neighborhood as a historic district. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell joins us now with what privileges would come with that title. Savannah. Yeah, Jason, Charlotte currently has eight historic districts, and if anyone wants to build within them or make significant changes to an outside of a building, they have to get express permission from the Historic District Commission. For example, you can't paint previously unpainted brick or stonework or remove any large trees or even install long privacy fences without approval. And there are people in the Hill Elizabeth neighborhood who want those kind of protections added. Now, the historic Elizabeth Neighborhood Foundation is spearheading the charge here. One of the reasons they began mobilizing their neighbors is a, as a response to the city's Charlotte 2040 plan. Now, this plan outlines development for the next two decades. Some neighbors believe it would bring too much density to the Elizabeth area. Organizers of the request say they know they can't stop the city from growing, but they want a say in how their neighborhood will change. What's going to happen is if we don't protect what we have, what we have left some way, um, it'll be gone. And that's well over 100 years of history in a lot of these homes. Others say the restrictions of living in a historic neighborhood may be too tight for their liking. People opposed to the effort say Charlotte is expanding and they want to expand right along with it. The Charlotte Historic District Commission meets today at noon at the Government Center. People can participate in person or online via WebEx.